So there's a little bit of confusion that we will have today. Because today being the 17th of March, we all think that we are Irish. <laughs> so where's the confusion in this? Is that today, I want all of us to be Greek. <laughs> And why is that? In our gospel reading, we see these Greeks approaching Philip. And what do they say? We would like to see Jesus. The Greeks approached and said, we would like to see Jesus. And therefore, I want us to be Greeks that it is our desire this day to see Jesus. So we have to find the various Philips that are around us. And we have to make that, that known, that we really and truly want to see Jesus. And when we say this, then that request will get to the ears of Jesus. And did you notice the way that Jesus responded to that? He said, Now is the Son of Man to be glorified. Now is the Son of Man to be glorified because His glorification would also come about through the desire of people who want to see Him. So when we have that desire, our desire glorifies Jesus. And how do I know that this glorifies Him? It is that there are only one kind of people who will be able to see Jesus. Because as Jesus will tell us later on, you know, Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. So as we see Jesus, we see God. And Jesus told us in the Beatitudes who could see God. Do you remember that Beatitude? Blessed are the pure in spirit, for they will see God. That's the only way that we are going to see God. If we are pure in heart, poor in spirit, pure of heart, we will see God. And for this reason, we have been making a request. And our request came to us in the responsorial psalm. Because not only do we want to see Jesus, but we are turning to God and we are saying, Create in me a new heart, a clean heart, O God. Create in me a clean heart. Because we know that when we have that clean heart, we will be able to see Jesus. So that's our desire. That is what we seek this day. So if we really want to see Jesus, then we should also have that desire to have clean hearts, new hearts. And you know, I think about when I was in school, and I'm talking about, you know, sort of grade school. And, well, I don't know how many persons here who grew up in a situation like mine, you know, where we had that kind of school system. But one of the things we used to do in school was something called dictation. Did Americans do dictations? We used to do that in English and in French, you see? So that's the system. And with the dictation is that the teacher would read and you write. <laughs> But part of the things about, the, you know, dictations is when we'd get to that place where the teacher would say, 
Now I want you to turn over a new page. And we will turn over that new page in our exercise books. And then we would begin to write. And that's what God is saying to us, that we have to turn over a new page in order to get that new heart. Because what did we hear in our first reading? I will write my laws in their heart. In their heart. So when the law of the Lord is in our hearts, then it means that we'll have a new heart, a clean heart. And when we have that clean heart, we will be able to see Jesus. So as we draw closer to the celebration of the passion of Jesus, that should be our desire. Our desire for those two things, as I said, to see Jesus and to have that new heart. We have to give ourselves over to God. And as we give ourselves over to God and have all of this done, then truly God will be glorified. And Jesus wants that to happen with us now. That's why he said, now is the Son of Man to be glorified. So let us glorify him this day. And let us see him. Because he is here. I know he's here. We should all know that he's here. So let us open, not our eyes, but open our hearts and we will see him. So let your prayer then become an acclamation and your prayer will say, I see you, Jesus. I see you. I see you, Jesus, and in my seeing you, may you be glorified.